All right. So, Jonathan Zuckerman. Kavita Patia, how are you? Uh, Z Real Estate's discussion on real estate and America. So, you know, everybody, not so much just now, obviously in my whole life, and if I had to guess, and it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna stop anytime soon, but some people will always, you know, wanna go against the grain. There will always be a group of people that either hate America or just love to burn flags, American flags, for whatever reason, they just love to do that. So, and then there's gonna be another group of people that will always want this practice to be banned because they in their heart believe they are diehard American and if you do this, how dare you? That makes you an American. So, this discussion is whether or not the practice of burning the American flag should be illegal. Your thoughts? It should be illegal. Straightforward. I, 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 I mean, I think, I think it's so disrespectful, all the things that it stands for. We fought for independence, we fought for, you know, it just, it represents our values, it represents our struggle, it represents our unity, and when you burn it, it's like burning the Bible, it's like burning your holy book. I think it's so disrespectful. It does, I it don't does. Think, I mean, I don't, I think it should be something where maybe, you know, you shouldn't be put away in jail for like years and years and years, but it should be something where you are arrested and you are put in jail for a short period of time at least. See, here's, I agree it with Kavita on the second part, meaning the rationale as to why it should be illegal. I disagree on the fundamental premise. I do not think it should be illegal. I think it should be legal, and here's why. I personally, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but go with me here. I think that if it were illegal, the value of the flag would drop. It wouldn't mean as much. It's a beautiful thing, and it is sacred. Kavita's right, it is like, like, like you know, burning the Bible or something, but why is it like that, why? Yeah, I think it's like that because of what it represents. The freedom. The freedom to do whatever you want, including burning a flag, if that's what you want to do. Now, to make it illegal, now it's no longer quite so sacred. It's no longer quite so beautiful, quite so pure. Do I agree that people should do that? Of course not. I think it's bullshit. But I will fight and die protecting the right to do whatever they want, even if that means calling me an asshole, burning a flag, doing all the things that I don't agree with and I think should not be done. However, the last thing that I want is to live in a country where everybody thinks and does exactly um, how I think and do. No, I want, I want diversity, I like that. What about you? Well, you know, I, I get very sentimental when I watch um, a, a ball game or any kind of game right before it. Well, the last one I watched was like the NFL finals. What was it? The Super Bowl? <laughs> it wasn't and, a ball game, but <laughs> close. Super Bowl, <laughs> for instance, when you hear somebody sing the Star Spangled Banner. That's true. I get choked up. And do I you do know too. how it was written? Okay. Yes. Francis. Okay. So, so, okay. Francis Scott Key okay. wrote okay. it while he was in jail. Okay. So basically and what happened... Did, oh, sorry. Go ahead. You know the story? No, no, okay. Oh, yeah. I know the story. Go ahead. Go the ahead. The bombing was teller. shooting. Every, he, th he thought he believed in his heart. His men were dying. They're going to lose the war. He wasn't exactly sure what was going to happen. Meanwhile, he's sitting in there and all of a sudden he looks out and guess what he saw? The flag was still there. It was still there. So, Absolutely. So when, I, when you know the story behind it and how the Star Spangled Banner was written, there's so much respect that you have for that. I, I'm getting goosebumps as I'm speaking. It's to you a about beautiful it story, think, but the irony is. But it's a true story. To make it, it is a true story. To make it illegal, I think, in a way, does devalue it. Like it reminds me of that movie. What's the What's the name of the guy who, um, the guy that's like? Um, I hardly watch any movies. You're asking the wrong. No, no, no. Person. The guy, the guy that's like the the Playboy guy. Hugh Hugh, Hugh Hefner? Hefner, the other one. Larry, Larry Flint. Flint. Okay. okay, the people versus Larry Flint. In that movie, if any of you have seen it, there, there's a part where he has a child that actually goes all the way up to the Supreme Court. Why? Because he writes an, an expose, an article about how Larry, about how Jerry Falwell had sex with his mother in an outhouse, and Jerry Falwell, of course, sued him because it wasn't true. Did he win? Yes, until he until it was appealed by Larry Flint. 
all the way up to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And they ruled in favor of Larry Flynn. Why? This is America. This is America. You can say what you want. You can do what you want. And but that's the beauty the of this country. But takes it to a whole other level. True. We, going with the point that you're making, and I respect your point, I see what you're saying. However, if those are the ideals that the flag represents, then definitely you should not burn it. You should be respecting those ideals. You should say, yes, uh, this flag that represents all the struggles of the people that uh, you know fought the revolution, um, shed so much blood um, to protect it. And here we are, taking it for granted and burning it and throwing it in the streets. I do mean, I that's think so burning it is taking it for granted? I do. I agree with Kavita. However, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that I think it should be have. illegal. I think it's. I agree. I mean, so would you? Say, I agree with you so completely. You I still don't okay. think it should be illegal, though. Do you th do, would you say that it's okay to burn the Constitution too? Well, there's only, first I mean, of all, there's only okay one. If they burned it, that would kind of be a problem. But I mean, assuming that people had copies of it, yes. Copies with the I, same words. Yes. yes that's and, what and, and the reason why, again, is because of, of the beauty and the value that it represents. It really, to me, it represents the epitome of freedom. Okay? So let's just assume that this is true, hypothetically. Let's suspend reality and we'll say that, you know, this object in my hand is the epitome of freedom. This is the beacon of freedom that us, as the United States, is trying to convey to the whole world, to Western Europe, to Eastern Europe. We want to impress upon them our version of democracy, our version of freedom. Look at this. When and this is the, the American flag. flag. Well, hold on a second. All I'm okay. saying is this is the American flag. Now, this is the epitome of freedom. And you, this means you can do whatever you want, except burn this flag. Little bit When you burn the flag, we got to put our saying... money where our mouth is and show them we can do anything. Even burn the symbol of that very message. Okay. When you burn the flag, you're saying that I don't respect those ideals and values. I, <laughs> I don't respect those values. And it, burning it is very disrespectful. I mean, it really does come down to respect or disrespect. And by burning it, you're so showing it disrespect. I agree. And that is not I agree. Okay. And I, I think agree. I think to prove a point, there should be some kind. It it should be illegal. It should not be. Legal. I agree completely that burning that a flag is burned, highly disrespectful. For, maybe highly a disrespectful. citation or something, but there should be. I mean, look. Guess we what? Drive a car Walking down the street, spitting in someone's face is highly disrespectful. Guess what? That's not illegal either. But John, <laughs> when you have a car, well, let's talk about um, zoning, for instance. Let's okay. tie it into real estate. All okay? right then. Well, we have a house, and we are in a PUD, and we. Want want to you know um paint our house red white and blue they won't let you do it they won't let you do it That's so right. you do have certain laws some things that you have to restri restrict there is no freedom of but speech but that's not a blanket when you talk about it but, but that's not a blanket saying, policy John, for all let me finish what i'm saying i let you finish it's my turn too it goes into the same it's the it's the same thing you can't do certain things and that's one of the things that you should not be allowed to do um that is my reason ultimately it is that you have to respect the flag because the the, the flag is sacred mm -hmm. and when you start seeing that. it as something that is sacred you don't disrespect it by burning it or you know uh, making i agree it i mean there's there's i actually, agree with you completely i just think that by saying to people this is sacred but we will let you burn it proves that it's sacred if that makes any sense to say we won't let you do it takes the sacredness away it's not so sacred when you make laws but limiting people limiting people from doing something to a symbol that says you can do whatever you want you know I you think see the hypocrisy probably there? putting them in jail is too strong but i think they should be there should be a citation or something there should be like getting a trap i just want to make it clear for, for people a, that are watching that, that when, I, when I say i don't think it should be illegal that's not the same as me saying i don't respect the flag and i want to burn it i think it's highly disrespectful i would never do that and i hope i never see anybody doing that however <clears throat> at the same time despite the loathing that I have for anybody that would want to do that. If I ever <coughs> saw somebody trying to. What would you do? Hold on. Well, if I ever saw somebody, well, here's the truth. And I know this is going to sound crazy. If I ever saw somebody trying to, I'd be very upset. And I would tell them they shouldn't do that. How dare they, et cetera, et cetera. Now, same scenario. I see somebody trying to, then I see a cop giving him shit. I'm on the side of the guy trying to burn it. Why? I don't support the burning it but I support his right to do whatever the hell he wants, even if that means doing something the cop doesn't like. This is America, and that flag represents that. 
We gotta prove it. Look, do what people do in other countries, okay? Burn your politician in effigy, like something like that. She Don't wants do to burn politicians. <laughs> in effigy, not, not, not the actual person, okay? Do, do something like that, but the, the, the flag is sacred. It's sacred. That's what it is. I, I, agree. I really can't tell you anything else except it stands for certain things. It stands for the struggles. It's all those people, the, the, the veterans that shed blood over to protect this flag and protect our rights. I agree that the flag is I, I sacred. I think the person who burns a flag is very disrespectful. By the way, I did agree. you notice how we dressed kind of like the it's flag? Red, it's red, it's red, white. it's white, and it's blue. Okay? So... The flag, yeah, it's highly disrespectful. However, let's point out one thing that everybody can agree on. Tons of flags. You know, limited number of them. You can buy them anywhere. There's only one Lady Luck. Lady Liberty, Statue of Liberty, whatever it is that you call her. And Statue that, of Liberty, that's what it's called. Well, it's also called Lady Liberty, Lady Luck. The There's a lot of names. Lady Luck? The, yeah, Lady Luck. Lady Luck, okay. But the point that I'm making is, Lady and the Gaga? reason why I even brought it up in the first place, She's vandalized yearly. People do graffiti on her, on her, on those big shoes she's got. Anyway, is that illegal? No. How do they even it's get not. to her? You, you can't. You That's gotta true. take it a ferry, you gotta get to it. Um, I know that uh, it took um, some bribing to get up on the top floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I saw the Statue of Liberty, the inside of the Statue of Liberty. But it's a pretty powerful experience when you go. Um, and I think it just makes you a little bit more patriotic when you go and you see these um, national monuments. I agree. And you see the writings on the wall. And, and, and again, to, in, in response to what Kavita was saying, if this is something, again, tying it back into the Statue of Liberty, where there is only one. Now it's not an issue of freedoms and rights. It's an issue of infringing upon the rights and freedoms of others. Because by burning or desecrating that one, you're limiting the enjoyment of other people. But the flag is different. Everybody can go buy their own. If you buy a flag, you should do, you should be able to do, sorry, whatever the hell you want with your flag, not someone else's. And that's why my position is the way that it is, because people can buy their own. If there was only one, you should not be able to well, do something that limits me, other people's tell rights. Tell me this. There are so many ways that we can communicate our discontent with the government. Why would you have to resort to burning the flag? Why? Who knows? I mean, you seem to be very compassionate towards them. I, I'm thinking, well, that, do you know? Possibly. It's not something that I would do. However, I would <laughs> fight for the, for the rights of the people to do something that I disagree with. Isn't that strange? And I honestly think that kind of makes me American to fight for the rights of somebody to do what I don't think they should be doing. But I don't think somebody else should say you, sh you shouldn't do that. That's what I believe. And that's what I think America is. So if there's freedom of speech, can I finally paint my house red? Yeah, you can paint possible? your house red. The only but scenario, then I get a citation. Well, the only scenario in which you would get a citation for painting your house red is if you voluntarily entered into a contract before you bought the house where they said you can't paint your house red and you said, I understand, no problem. So, in that situation, yes, you can't paint your but house cities, red. But cities even have their code enforcement coming by. I mean, recently we had... That is true. Okay, we had then a building with three signs that. that's, all that's around bullshit. the building and the city said you have too many, um, too many signs up, so you need to remove one of the signs. And that's our freedom of expression. That's right. We want to be like loud and proud that we've got this property for sale or for... By the way, she's referring to the uh, Z Real Estate listing Barton Plaza, Foothill and Avon, Rancho Cucamonga, was surrounded by beautiful... Black Gorgeous. And red signs. They see real estate. City made us take one of them down. So instead of three, now there's two. That's your point, by the way. Yeah, but you know, it's our freedom of expression. We wanted to lease it out. We're trying to help the owner. That's and right. We were have like one less sign up there. And now laws are there. important because obviously, if if we had it our way, we would have just said forget the sign. We'll just paint the building black and red, put Z real estate on it. <laughs> Who cares what the owner, the owner says about it? The owner wouldn't like it. <laughs> the owner yeah. wouldn't like it. That's different because it's his property now. Right. So laws are important. But again, the whole purpose, in my opinion, correct me if I'm wrong, of America is to create a scenario. And when I say scenario, I mean country, in which we have people living amongst each, uh, each other. And when it comes to what's legal and what's illegal, one of the fundamental doctrines and one of the fundamental barometers that we use is this. If you want to do something that does not affect other people, it should be legal.
If you want to do something that only affects you, now the, the, there is a couple exceptions to this rule. Drugs, for example. If somebody wants to you know, do a bunch of drugs and kill themselves, I actually think they should be allowed to do that. But that's a discussion for another day. Um, but generally, that's why I support the flag thing. If you buy your own flag, doesn't affect somebody else, you should be allowed to rip it up, make jeans out of it, burn it. I don't People agree do with that. People make jeans out of it, and yeah. that seems to be okay. So kind of I don't think you should apart. sit on the flag, and I don't think the flag should be your ass. Should, should, should they be put in jail for it? No, I don't. They should not be put in jail for it. Should they do it? No. You know, I, think but again, I think it makes me uncomfortable, but I've seen, you know, the flag on t-shirts and stuff, I think it's okay. I've seen it on jeans, and to me, it, that seems to be okay. And it's interesting how we look at it. Again, it, you're right that it's great that in the United States we can have these open discussions about right. and disagree with things, and it's totally okay because I think when we start discussing things, that's when we start reaching some kind of a solution. Right, and the moment somebody can come by to a police department or a law enforcement agency or anybody and say, that person bought burned a flag, and the law enforcement agent says, and how did this affect you? Oh my God, I woke up the next day and I had syphilis. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? Why do you always use that? Um, I'm just <laughs> saying, the, the, I guess the point that I'm trying to make is it doesn't affect them. Nothing it's they do to emotional. the flag is going... Guess what? America's a little bit too damn emotional. Uh, Be emotional. Your feelings are hurt? Be hurt. Be hurt. It's okay. We're emotional it's beings. Okay. You can't stop being emotional. That's right. You have to be passionate it's okay about to get things, hurt, and you guys. have to protect the things that you love, and you have Pull to protect the up. things. That... People get hurt. No problem. <laughs> Nothing happens when you get insulted. Just be insulted. But because you don't want to be insulted, you want to put someone. Off. Okay. So what Kavita is saying is we should make a law that is designed to prevent people from getting insulted and that law will put people in jail if those people are doing something that might insult these people. I, here's what I think. Okay? You want to take away their freedoms because they're insulting someone else? I, I think that children starting from elementary school and I'm not sure if they're doing saluting the flag anymore or singing the national anthem or you know the what was it pledge pledge of allegiance pledge of anymore. Allegiance. You know I think those they should continue on. You know what? Here, here's an I don't understand for you. why they're not doing this in classrooms anymore. I think they're not. I'm not sure. Um, I'll ask my sister because she's a school teacher. But um, I think starting from childhood, kids should be told these are certain things that you respect. Kind of like when you take your kids to church, temple, whatever. I agree. You know, you, you should so show them what, you, what, what is sacred. What is. No, I'm saying that we, that's when you begin to um, educate them about the respect of the flag. And if you don't teach them right from the beginning, then as adults, they're not going to have that same passion and loyalty for the flag. And I kind of wonder, you this, is, do, the, do the millennials, you know, if there's any, any millennial out there watching, you know, do you feel a certain um, compassion? A certain First of all, just to answer Kavita's question, the, we're already uh, almost 18 minutes in, the millennials tuned off 17 minutes ago. But anyway... Um, let me ask you this. I, I and everybody watching understands your position on the flag. Now, here's a good question to your position. Do you feel as though doing something to the flag should be location specific? And this is how I tie it into real estate. In other words, this is an office. Let's say it's not. Let's say it's my house. My house. I bought this house. Should I be able to burn the flag in my own house? Well, I mean, if nobody sees it, the crime hasn't really happened, right? I mean, nobody knows that you committed that crime unless you post it on the internet. Um, but nobody will know you did it. So, I, do you I, think I know, there should be a policing that. agency monitoring what people do in their own home as to whether or not there could be any possible private desecration of American flags? Now, that kind of ties into women's issues. I mean, half of the time. <laughs> I, half of the time, uh, there are so many laws about what women can do and can't do with their body. I mean, it really is a personal decision. And I That's think right. what you do in your home, I don't think nobody will know. And I don't think anyone can go into your home I agree. to give you a citation. Um, I agree. And I have changed my position a little bit. Like I said, in the beginning, I was saying that they should be put in jail. I, I think that there should be more of a citation. Um, given to it, right. burns the black. All black. right. So I think already, as you can so see, so what she's saying, we're, victory, we're kind of coming together. No, it's no, a V. It's you a, agreed. A v. You 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 applauded. I made my position, and Kavita has changed hers. You applauded. in response to my my I, my amazing. I hear argument. what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, and I think 
I, I think it's legitimate. I don't think people should be put in jail, but I Agreed. think that there should be like, you know, a tap on the hand and a slap on the hand or a slap on the face and tell them, hey, you know, you you, you need to uh, possibly, pay a fine possibly. for disrespecting the flag. And we're going to we're going to talk about exactly what type and how, what, what nature of that fine in the next one. <laughs> but everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Jonathan Zuckerman. I'm Kavita Patia. <laughs> and this is a real estate discussion on real estate and other controversial stuff. So stay tuned. Bye, everyone.